I'm Adam Oliver and I run BT's research for disability and inclusion. We take for granted we can send an email. We take for granted we can make a phone call. We take for granted this technology in our lives. But not everyone can do that. So what I do is help people use that technology so there are no barriers to sending emails, making phone calls. It's really about making technology work for people. So if you think about some 30% of people who are not online, and those people who are digitally divided tend to be elderly, disabled, people living in social housing, or those with full-time caring responsibilities, and we're creating technology and solutions to help reduce that, that can only be good for business. It's really about making technology work for people. It's what we're all about as a company, but as a society, so that they can become your customers, our customers, our employees, your employees, but to do what they want in society where technology is not a barrier, it's about the people. We have a heritage of inclusion. After the First World War, people came back from the trenches missing limbs. They were given jobs as telephone operators, connecting up calls, and we've continued inclusion right up to the present day. One of the projects we work with is with Scope, helping people who've got cerebral palsy. Katie, age 12, was given one of our technology solutions so she could communicate independently. She could make phone calls, text messages, and the first time she ever did that was to her dad when he was in a meeting. And he stopped the meeting because his phone was ringing, his daughter calling for the first time ever. On loudspeaker, Katie announced that she was a vegetarian. 